Oh my goodness. Well, here's some Crocs for you. These are all of his new enclosures. Each of these enclosures is ranging between fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars to build. <laughs> look at look at look at him swim. Is it still pretty open. Yep. That's a female. Yep. If it was a male, you'd know right away. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah, they're big, big scales. I mean, he's as close as I could ever want him to be. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Here, I am here in Texas, and it's. Absolutely disgusting out. Hey, I gotta meet up with all my animals. Oh, I almost ate it. What's going on everyone? It's great to see everyone in here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. There's about to be a sleet storm. I don't know what that is, but hey. It's bad out there, man. <laughs> it's bad, it's cold. In today's video, we are visiting my buddy Kyle's house. It's been over a year, and he has made a lot of progress. Millions and millions of dollars. If I had to assume, it's probably over $20 million worth of work at this place. It's a baller collection of crocodiles, alligators, snakes, the, the most deadly snakes in the world. You loved my last reptile tour video at Brian Barczyk's place, so I decided to do another one. We're getting back to the normal videos. By normal, I mean like my farm and building the front 3,500 gallon pond and all that stuff. Next video, but I've been doing all this traveling. Now we're in Texas seeing this guy. It's unfortunate they're here now because we're gonna get snowed in, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm stuck here. Without further ado, we're hopping over to Kyle's house. Enjoy this reptile-filled video. Kyle, how long has it been since I've been here? At least like six months. Oh my goodness. Well, here's some Crocs for you. These are all of his new enclosures. The last time we were here, I could promise you it didn't look anything like it does now. Just casually has, uh, well, these workers, but crocodiles just chilling right here. Look, his mouth is open. Cold-blooded, they're the temperature around them, so. They're just always regulating their mouth. That's kind of like their uh, their temperature regulator, per se. How big is that, like nine? Yeah, eight, they're, they're eight nine? nine so that's the thing is all these enclosures are set up, you know, for the Crocs' best interest. So... Oh, they look like they're having the best time. Oh, them. yeah. So it's it's got a big shallow section there, a big deep section there, a little wallow there, and a separate pond. So they have all these little different enriching waterways. See that? You barely can see him, but he's coming up. Yeah, you're not being too sneaky. I see you. That's cool. And you still have the originals in the middle. All the enclosures out there, what we've shown you, if you've been watching the channel for a while, at Kyle's place, we've shown you those enclosures before. This is just in incredible. There ain't no zoos doing anything like this, and this is a personal collection. Next enclosure, and keep in mind, we're just walking between all of these enclosures. There's so many all along. Bang, 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 literally on both sides. Here's another one over here, and they're just incredibly built. Straight sheet pile in the ground. Different pieces, so, you know, that's what you see on the coast with uh, protecting. Sea walls. Yeah. You never have to touch these things again. Nope. They're done, these enclosures are made final. Very, very natural. Each of these enclosures is ranging between fifty to $75,000 to build. So just put that in perspective. This ain't cheap. This is a crazy way of doing it. Definitely don't need this, but he does it because he truly loves these animals and wants to build something that no one else has. And you, you definitely indeed did build something no one else has. So I mean, that was just like a quick run through, legitimate run through of this whole entire side. And then of course we still have the original stuff in the middle, like I mentioned. What's going on, man? Good, Good to see you. you. Here's the OG. The OG stuff. I think you gotta leave one. Yeah, I do, I do. Just there, gotta leave like one just from the original, you know? Like there's elements that like I can't get away from. Like in the back of the greenhouse, yeah. in, in like Hurricane Matthew, I like literally took a knife to all the screens and just shredded them open because I thought the greenhouse was just gonna blow yeah. apart. So I almost wanna leave it just to remind myself everything I've been through yeah. to build this facility. Just to build this right here. Look at that, look at him chilling. See him? Chilling right back there in the marsh. <laughs> this guy, dude. He's got stairs to get up. Here, let's pull these out like a like a like a car. Oh hey, how you doing? Oh, they're all coming. It's great to see you. Yeah, here they come. They think it's food. Look at look at look at him swim. Look at him swim. That is well quite terrifying. Oh, what are they doing? Look at them all. Check them all out. Bunch of little Niles. These are the first babies. First babies. That had to have been cool for you. It was incredible to have. Your own Nile crocodiles in your backyard hatch and then grow them up. And now they're like this. Gonna be needing to be moved in the next couple weeks. They grow quicker. Yeah, though. they do. So we're gonna move them to one of the larges over here. Oh, the extra larges. It's time to manhandle this crocodile now. We gotta transport it from one side of the yard all the way to the other into its new enclosure. What's the there. goal here? The goal is we're gonna drop her out of the tub, yep. catch her, 
and then we're gonna carry over to one of the new enclosures, put her in there. Love that, all right. Yeah. We're carrying an unfoot crocodile, here we go. So she's gonna come out. <laughs> Caparos, we are jumping. You heard that right, jumping. Jumping a nine foot crocodile right now to then carry it to the new enclosure. I mean, I'm telling you, we've had like bodybuilders thrown like flies off of crocs. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> same thing to do, same thing. You just shimmy with her. It's not about strength, it's about momentum. We're yeah. probably stronger than bodybuilders. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's got way too much confidence in us. Go down the head, and you guys are going to straddle her again and get back on. Okay. That all makes sense? Yeah, we're great at straddling women. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, just so you know, you're probably gonna get bruised and cut up right here. Oh, that's from fine. The it's like battle wounds. You might rip your shirt. I'm gonna tell my girlfriend that she's gonna be like, "What happened?" I'm be like, "Well, I got in a fight with a crocodile." Yeah. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> this is about to get real, real quick. F F F F <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm coming in swinging. <laughs> 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 Wow. That's the biggest thing with crocodilian with, with crocodiles is with their teeth sticking out. It's, I mean, I have a huge gash on my leg, an old gash just swipe from you? just swiping, yeah. So that's the biggest thing is, too, is when you transport it and really cover up the teeth. Three. <laughs> you were lying. <laughs> that thing is strong, dude. <laughs> my back's broken. Can <laughs> you Yeah, you just keep your body close If you yours. want to move to the side and do the armpit, it helps you walk forward a little bit. Yep, more. that's what I'm doing right now. What'd you say? Look at this, guys. Oh. <laughs> Literally, we're walking a crocodile. Kyle, I've been asking you to do this for years. <laughs> yeah. You want to move a crocodile? <laughs> Did you guys know you were doing this? No. no. Kyle, no, no, no. I, we were just going to hang out, but this is what the hangout is, so. Hey, we're cool with it. And then going through doorways, they sometimes shake, so watch yourself. I'm going to get thrown into the car. <laughs> hey, big girl. And then get back on top. Oh, yeah. Now give a little bit of ga uh, space between you because you're gonna pick her tail up. Okay. Uh, now right about here underneath yep. her is her cloaca. You'll feel it. Feel a little oh, opening. Oh yeah, I feel it. Now how many fingers do I go in? <laughs> so be gentle. One, one finger. One finger. <laughs> and then go in there and then basically go about like two knuckles deep and then feel oh, around. Two no, no, no. knuckles. Yep. Do you feel anything? Any protrusions? Just be real gentle. Feels real gentle. Does it feel pretty open? Yep. That's a female. Yep. If it was a male, you'd know right away. It, it'd stick you back. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, that's a female, guys. There you go. It's fantastic. We did it, boys and girls. Thank you very much, guys. And wow, girls. that was incredible, dude. <laughs> a very adventurous one. First time I've ever done that. First time I've actually sexed a crocodile as well, which is really cool. And this place is beautiful. So much more to see here. We, right now, are about to head over to Ryan's oh, favorite up, place. Yeah, this is his favorite, room. the yeah. snake room. No, I haven't no, showed man. this in a while. Is there new stuff in there, too? Just wait. Okay, so yeah. there it is, yeah. It is going to be crazy, of course. We don't do anything but crazy stuff here. Just wanted to show you guys the facility over here. This part of the facility is just next level stuff. We did coolest thing you could possibly do here, and that's transport a giant crocodile. We gotta jump a giant crocodile. We did. And, and carry it, so you got, and, and sex it. Yes. You got the full experience today, you are learning. I had a blast, I had a blast. Yeah, Brenton didn't even get to put his finger in it. I wanted to put my finger in it. <laughs> it's like the entrance to Jurassic Park. That's Literally. what this is gonna be. Is it? It's, yeah, it's literally going to like Jurassic Park. Those are the frames <laughs> going out. Like, it's, it's going to be sick. So here's the pathway all the way down to the snake room. Uh, wow. 90%. 90% yeah. of the snakes yeah. in this room. The second you get bit. Half hour <laughs> until you die. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. But I'll still die. Okay. This place looks a lot different, that's for that's sure. Insane. South American oh, rattlesnake. rattlesnake. Yeah, rattlesnake, you want to see a... Cobra, do you want to see a Mamba? I see, see them all right here, I'm good. Oh, we're taking them out, we'll take out at least King Cobra. So King yeah. Cobra, we'll take outside. Bro! <laughs> here, how about, uh... <laughs> look at, 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 look at. That's the Cobra. Hi! Yeah! He got a lot bigger than he was last time. Oh, yeah. How big do you think it is now? Uh, he's just over eight feet long. Look at that. Yeah, the big, big scale. I mean, he's as close as I could ever want him to be. Yeah, I don't know. Here. Oh, back. 
Yeah, so we try to make every interaction super calm with King, uh, King Covid is his name, uh, because when he eventually reaches the 15, 16 foot mark, having a 15, 16 foot crazy King Cobra is not ideal. So as you can see here, he's not even hooding up. He only did when uh, Kyle put the glove in his face and that's a very, very rare interaction that we have with him. These are nothing to mess around with, but Ryan's been dealing with this since, how old were you when you got your first snake? Uh, three years old. Oh three my. years old, yeah. so. To oh so us, it's a little bit scary, but it's like me playing with a, well, no, it's not like me playing <laughs> with a pig. <laughs> like a goldfish, it's like me playing with a goldfish. So uh, this is how you know it's the scariest one. Ryan actually put gloves yeah. on. Well, she just gets a little wiry. Isn't it crazy that that little one is more venomous than the uh, big old cobra? Can it does look like a regular snake. Like I would probably go to try to catch that in my backyard. Oh yeah. Yeah. It can kill 250,000 mice in one bite. It's an Australian species. <laughs> a, quarter a quarter million mice, one bite. In Australia, in Australia it's like <laughs> it's it's. I, I, I just, no if you live in Australia, you just don't touch anything. <laughs> you don't touch anything. It's the whole thing. Even though it's like it's not a super like attractive one compared to like a Mangshan yeah. or. Bu Bushmaster, or just black. Cobra. But as you can see, this is the most venomous snake in the world, and she's not that bad. <laughs> that, yes, that was a small. Oh, hello. Hi. Right, this this is an anaconda. Let's see how it feels. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> that thing it's stinks, not, dude. Bad. Well, fellas, woo -hoo -hoo. I guess we will uh, end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out the merch, the top link in the description. Go check out Primitive Predators. It is linked down below. I will see you right back here in the next one. Peace.